Hi, I'm Danny. I've been researching climate change for a while. Climate change? <laughs> I've read a pamphlet exposing climate change as a myth. And it was laminated and everything. Then the scientists not even all agree. The thing we need to remember about science is that it moves forward through debate. And there's plenty of disagreement amongst scientists about things like the exact rate of global warming. However, a recent survey of 12,000 peer-reviewed climate science papers found that 97% agreed that climate change was caused by humanity's greenhouse gas emissions. Yes, yes, but hasn't the climate always changed? Well, yeah. Evidence from ice sheets and tree rings does show that in the distant past, the Earth has swung between warmer and colder periods. These changes were caused by the sun going through a warmer phase or slight variations in the Earth's orbit, leading to gradual warming or cooling over hundreds or thousands of years. What's going on now, however, can't be explained by those natural cycles. We've blasted a huge amount of carbon into the atmosphere over the last 150 years, overriding those slow natural changes and kicking off a period of rapid warming unlike anything we know of in prehistoric times. That's what you say, but I've heard that recent evidence shows that climate change has stopped. I really wish it had, but it hasn't. The rise in surface temperatures has been going through a slow patch since the early 2000s, but scientists expect the surface warming to go a bit faster or slower sometimes. One reason for this is that the oceans have been absorbing more heat than usual, which means that even though temperatures at the surface of the planet have been rising a bit more slowly, the total average temperature, including under the sea, has still been heading steadily upwards. But the global economy is bust. Can we really afford to tackle climate change? There are several responses to this question. The first is to ask, are you sure you understand the scale of the problem? Climate change could strip away the basic life support systems that humanity relies on to survive on this planet. If you wake up to find your house is flooded, you don't worry about being late for work, you start shifting sandbags. Also, there's plenty of money around for tackling climate change. Governments currently subsidise the fossil fuel industry by almost $2,000 billion. If that money was instead spent on renewable power and energy efficiency, it would benefit local economies and create jobs, like in Germany, where the renewable sector employs around 400,000 people. Yes, yes, I can accept all that, but isn't climate change just a giant global conspiracy with the scientists in league with Al Gore, the polar bears and the secret shadow world government? Yes, that's exactly what's going on. Well done. Ah. So if these arguments are all false, why are some people so drawn to them? Well, it might be because cracking down on the fossil fuel industry would conflict with their political beliefs or challenge what they do for a living, or simply because this stuff is really freaking scary and they just don't want to think about it. All of which is understandable, but has nothing to do with the facts. Check out the other No Nonsense videos and visit the website for references for everything in this video and ideas on how to take action.